Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'm back with another Korean Pokemon booster box opening featuring battle styles. So I'll be opening up one booster box each of Ilgyok and Yonggyok Master, also known as Single Strike and Rapid Strike Master. I'm still chasing after all those alternative artworks, especially the Urshifu VMAX, the Tyranitar, the Empoleon, and also any of the gold cards. One thing you have to keep in mind about Korean booster boxes, however, you're not guaranteed a secret rare, so hopefully we'll pull some amazing cards today. If you guys want to see a more in-depth explanation of these sets, please refer to the link in the description below for those videos. Videos. Today's video will just be strictly an opening, so really hoping to pull something amazing today. Without further ado, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon and Beyblade content. Let's get going. Alrighty, so let's get started. We're going to begin with Yonggyuk Master, also known as Rapid Strike Master. So each booster box will contain 30 booster packs with 5 cards per pack. And as you can see here, it's covered in plastic, so I'm going to take that off. I'm excited to see what we get in this one. This is my favorite out of the two, just so you guys know. One second, let me just take this off. I don't want to put any cameras there on you guys. But yes, it's uh, oriented vertically, unlike the Japanese booster boxes that are oriented uh, horizontally. But I do love the pack art to these. I love the blue. And of course, Ilgyok or Single Strike Master will be insanely red. <laughs> but we're going to start off with my favorite color. And of course, as you can see, I have the matching sleeves. So hopefully more Urshifu. Really want that Phoenix Hyper Rare. Uh, alternative artwork if we are lucky today. Let's get going. We have Cherubee. We have Timber, we have Bell Sprite, of course the Korean cards will have yellow borders, and we have a V card to begin with, we have Victini, also known as Bikutini. So it sounds very very similar, but it is in Korean, also no V in Korean as well. So we have 12 out of 70, so it's not a secret rare, it's part of the main set. But yes, I'm still not tired of this set, I do want to keep going because lately there's just been amazing alternative artworks, both in battle styles and also matchless fighters. And I believe there's going to be also more in the upcoming sets as well. There's even an alternative art promo for um, Jet Black Poltergeist and Silver Lance. The Celebrity is definitely my favorite, it looks absolutely beautiful. But just because there's new alternative artworks does not mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop collecting the ones from before. Oh, come on. The pack's giving me a hard time. The cards are staying up to the top of the pack and I do not want to cut into them. <laughs> That is the worst. That is my worst nightmare. All right, continue. We have Bufalon. Very intense artwork of Bufalon. We have Shinx with the Rengeki logo. Actually, it's Yongyoki logo because it's in Korean. We have Corfish, Lorantis. Ooh, and Cherim. Love this holographic. So springy. Matches the season currently because all the cherry blossoms are coming out now in the States. Of course, if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, it's going to be more wintry like. Oh, these cards really stick to the top, which is really interesting because the boxes are oriented vertically you think gravity would <laughs> bring them down not in this case it's really interesting we have perugly we have cubone love this cubone it's so interesting too because i recall seeing all these pokemon too from the isle of armor <laughs> I'm like oh wait i recognize these pokemon oh yeah phalanx as well from fighting for their life so cute there's like it's like it's one pokemon but it's like a whole unit of little pokemon <laughs> so really funny all right, and of course the set is s5r as you can see on screen ilgyuk is going to be s5i we have little fatty Pokemon Frillish, we have Clay Doll, and we have Gang Chol Tom. This is also known as Helix in English. I like saying the Korean names. Very nice holographic. So let us keep going. It's also nice with these pull rates. I feel I definitely feel like they're more um affluent compared to battle styles in English from what I've heard from other people. Um, I feel like every other pack has something, whether it's a hollow, a V-card, V-max card. Again, that's how the Asian polarists will differ from the European, the States, the Americas, etc. Um, in terms of those pull rates. Alright, come on. These cards have to stay to the top of the pack. I do not want to cut them. With that being said, the packs of the Korean cards definitely have way more elbow space on cutting the cards. So I know you guys may be a little afraid I'm using scissors, but it's for good reason. These packs are also very hard to open by hand. If you've tried it, it's not easy. Oh, we got Urshifu. We got Yonyuk Warosu V. <laughs> v, because um, they do not pronounce V in uh, Korean. It is number 50 out of 70. So it's part of the main set. And it has that lovely Yonyuk logo. And of course, it's partially, I guess, the mascot of the pack, but it's the, the pack art has the V Max or the V Max version. All right, we have Indeedy, male version, because his little antenna is sticking up, not down, with the female version. We have Crowdont. We have Victory Bell, very nice, also springy, love that. And a Level Ball. There's a lovely gold card to that in this set. And for some reason, I have not pulled any gold cards, which is so interesting. But I have pulled a lot of trainers, so I guess that's the upside. I do love the trainer cards in the set, whether it's Rainbow or the regular full art. I still am missing Karina, though, which is very interesting. I've pulled all the other trainers, but I'm counting my blessings and I'm counting my full alternative artworks, of course. We have the Octillery Hollow, very nice, with the Young Yoki logo. 
The only alternative artwork I've pulled so far is the alternative single strike Urshifu, and I think it was in Japanese. Um, but still very very nice. I like how the uh, artwork has like a little bit of texture that makes it stand out in a way, but also it's like very very detailed. I do like that a lot. Very nice change from the regular V, V Max, and also the full art cards. Um, but yes, continuing. Of course, my favorite's going to be the Rapid Strike Urshifu. But hey, I believe any alternative artwork from this set is absolutely gorgeous. Bell Sprout, also very springy. Ooh, I think this is a V Max. Let's see what it is. It looks like, oh, we got a big teeny V Max. Yes, it's a big teeny, like the Korean name. It sounds so similar from the uh, English name. So go ahead and hit the like button for me. We got our first V Max. From what I've seen, usually you get two V Maxes per booster box of Korean uh, Rapid Strike Master. Um, even in general too, I believe in the Sword and Shield era. So very similar to the Japanese pull rates where you get two V Maxes. Um, definitely a lot harder to pull in English from what I've heard as well. Sent to Scorch and a lovely Luxray holographic. I love how the blue and yellow just so well coordinated in that. And the lovely water and artwork looks so detailed. He has lots of water in the set, although Luxray is not water type, but water is very emphasized in Rapid Strike, you know, rapid like the like the river. Okay, I have Luxia, and uh, not Luxio. Shinx, <laughs> Shinx, completely different name. Luxio, then Luxray. We have Dottler, and we have the Whirlpool Stro Scrolls, Rapid Strike Scroll. Very, very nice. Uh, Kung Fu has to read that before evolving into Urshifu. <laughs> so cute. Kung Fu is very underappreciated, and I feel like they should have included it in the set. But at least they included it in Matchless Fighters, which is great. Some Kung Fu love. We have Pachirisu, Carnivine, we have Crodont, Konkodur, and ooh, we have Amag. Oh, different in um, Korean. Amaga is the Japanese name, Corvina is the English name. This is Amago. Um, Amaga O. <laughs> a little bit different. They added the extra O. Very interesting. We have Corviknight V. I think I have that one yet. So actually, that's that's a, that's a great hit for me. <laughs> I'm trying to also complete this set in different languages: Korean, Japanese, and soon Taiwanese as well. On to the second pile. Let's continue, and then we're on to Ilgyok Master after this. Still looking for that Tyranitar, the sleeping Tyranitar. I really don't care what language I pull it in. I just want to pull it in any language at this point. And we have Momi, also Momi in Korean. That's also the Japanese name, and the English name, of course, is Cheryl. But yes, her. I also, I at first thought it was Mommy when I first heard it, but it's Momi. You have to emphasize the O a little bit more there. But yes, I'm definitely looking forward to see what is contained in the second pile of packs. We have Bruxish, lots of water Pokemon. We have the fan, and we have Tapu Bulu. It looks very different in Korean. Oh, we have Kapu Bururu. Oh, it's very different. Kind of similar to um, the Japanese name of um, Tapu Koko. Kapu Koko Kok. In Korean, it's Kapu Koko Kok. Very interesting. <laughs> Corefish. Trying to also remember all these these different names is always so fun. Phalanx and Luxio. Like actually like the artwork of Luxio here. It looks more intense than the Luxray artwork. It's very like dynamic and involves water. And that's also why I really like these sets lately, Matchless Fighters and also Ilgyok and Yongyok Master. There's just so much theme with the artworks. Even in Matchless Fighters, you're seeing a Weedle like doing a workout with Heracross. It's like all these Pokemon are just training for a massive fight. <laughs> Again, lovely theme. And we have Itobu, or also known as Or Beetle. I like the name of it. Don't you like the name of it, Kevin? I love it. Itobu. Sounds like, like, like I don't know, like something orb. <laughs> it does look like an orb, though. It's basically a psychic uh, ladybug. I thought it was, oh, it is a ladybug. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is a ladybug. You're definitely on point with her. Galarian Mr. Rhyme and Laurentis. That's in the forest on the Isle of Armor. You see lots of that. Lots of Pokemon that you typically see on Isle of Armor. Definitely very interesting. All right, we're still due for another VMAX and hopefully a Seeker. Again, it's not guaranteed in Korean booster boxes. I do not know why. That's just how South Korea promote things. Rapid Strike Energy. This is your favorite, right, cameraman? I like that one. Oh, we got Krikatoon, a new one. We haven't Actually, I think we've pulled this once before, but if I don't know if you guys noticed, the color is a bit more bold on this compared to the Japanese version and the English version if you've opened it. I just noticed that um, in the past as well with Korean sets and English sets. And even Japanese sets. Again, Korea has their own cardstock, very different from Korea as uh, from Japanese cardstock, and also very different from the English cardstock. If you've ever touched them, they feel very different. I'd say the English cards are a little bit more scratchy. This one, these cards that kind of like stick together a bit more together. I don't know why they just do. And especially if they have hollow foil in them, they'll tell they'll tend to curve a lot more often than the English cards. So if you have any hollows in Korean, definitely try to put them either like in a pile of cards or in a top loader because I guarantee you they will probably curve when exposed to the air. In the packs, probably not unless it's like a high class pack set like 
tag team all stars oh we got a kingdra or ultra shiny gx i've noticed sometimes the hollows also curve within the pack because almost all the cards are like either reverse hollow or something else so everything has hollow foil again korea does do things way differently and yes they're authentic please do not doubt that they're fake or, or think they're fake anything like that Horsey, Pachirisu, still not tired of this. We have Mean Fu, we have Mustard, Rapid Strike Mustard, and we have Santa Scorch. I love this artwork of Date Ujine, which is the Korean name of Santa Scorch. I'm forgetting the English name slowly. Ah. <laughs> trying, trying to remember all the names. Oh my gosh. But that happens when you when you insert one name in your head, and sometimes another name leaves, and that happens. <laughs> all right, we have Carnivine. We have a little Sizzlipede. Oh, there's our second VMAX. We have Amagao or Corviknight VMAX. I do like this one a lot. The detailing on this is incredible. Hit the like button for Corviknight VMAX. All right, we still have some packs left. No secret rare yet, but let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. And then we're on to box number two. All right, so let's keep going. And my scissors match the set. That's so funny. I always, I never plan these things, guys. I know like sometimes you're like, oh my God, your nails match the pack or your scissors match the pack. I do not plan this. It just happens. <laughs> and when it does happen, it's a good feeling. Oh, we have another Steelix holographic. We have Gang Chotun. Very, very different name <laughs> from the English name. That's usually the case. I'd say Korean names tend to take more resemblance after the Japanese names and the English names, but it makes it fun. And it makes it fun, to, a little bit easier to remember too. So it's not, you're not like remembering three different names for each Pokemon. I have Victory Bell, but sometimes like Victini, the Korean names will take after the English names. Same thing with the Japanese names sometimes, like Genga is the Japanese name for Gengar. But in Korean, it's Pentom, <laughs> like Phantom. Very, very interesting. Ooh, <gasps> guys, I think we got a secret rare. Unless it's a V card. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yep, it's a secret rare. It's a little bit shiny, a little textured, and we got... Okay, I'm very happy. We hit another alternative artwork that I do not have. This is number 77 out of 70. It's higher than the number 70, so it's definitely a secret rare. It even says SR for those who cannot see. This is gorgeous. And of course, guys, with Korean cards, you have the international backs. The Japanese cards will have their own specific backs and everything else will have literally this back. But there you go, has the Young Gyoki logo. This is gorgeous. It actually looks so nice in Korean and the colors are a lot bolder. Centering's a bit off, but honestly, I just want to have this card. That's really all I care about. So please hit the like button. We got Rapid Strike Urshifu, also known as Young Gyoki Warosu Bui. So there we go. We got the secret rare and we got an alternative artwork. I'm very happy. So imagine the other box also has an alternative artwork. I'm not going to ask for too much. Um, but there you go. I'm happy I have this one in Korean and single strike or Jifu alternative artwork V in Japanese. I'll probably have a photo of that soon. That's really, really cool. Wow. I did not expect that. It's been such a long time since I've pulled any alternative artwork like from this set particularly. Um, of course, there's a lot in Matchless Fighters as well, which I think I've, I've seen a lot of people who've been pulling alternative artworks from that set. But I think because there's also a lot to like pull from. So honestly, I'm not surprised. And also, it's the latest set. Everyone's opening it. Dotler and Tapu Bulu. I just feel so much better that we got a secret rare from that box. Okay, guys, last pack. Let's get this going so we can go straight on to Ilgyuk Master. Also known as Single Strike Master. The red box. All right. The one with the dark and fighting Urshifu. <laughs> Crudunt. Never, I never remember these. And then we have Luxio. It's Timber and then Conkolder. All right, guys, I'm done with box one. Now into box two. All right, so time for Ilgyuk Master, also known as Single Strike Master. Same thing with Yongyuk Master. Each booster box will have 30 packs with five cards per pack. And let me go ahead and remove the plastic so you guys are not blinded. Very excited to see the Seeker Rare in this one, if it does happen. Again, Korean booster boxes do not guarantee a Seeker Rare. But one thing I can definitely say, I've definitely noticed a lot better pull rates with the Secret Rares in the Sword and Shield era boxes compared to the Sun and Moon era boxes. If you guys have seen my previous openings of a few, you know, Sun and Moon era boxes or sets, they tend not to be very generous. And also you get maybe like two GXs per, per booster box. So it's a lot more scarce. So now onto the red set, Ilgyok Nasta, also known as Single Strike. So we have here, Gliscor, oh, Komiya, um, Pig, we have Scatterbug, and we have Salandit, the female lizard. <laughs> oh yeah, Grumpig was the name. It's happening again. Sometimes the names leave and then they come back randomly. My brain is chaotic, but it's okay. It came back <laughs> mid-opening. All right, we have, oh, we have a little Yamper with the Pokeball. It is so cute. Another Scatterbug. It literally looks like it's on the Isle of Armor, just chilling on the cliff. Phoebe, very nice Phoebe, and a holographic of Girigarado, also known as Aegislash. And it's also the same as Korean, Girigarado, just a little bit different. All righty. 
next pack here um what i do like about the korean and japanese version of battle styles is especially how uh, consistent the pull rates are in each booster box it's pretty reliable um and definitely like i said before noticing more secret rares come up more often in this set particularly and also in my opinion i believe the quality of the cards look a bit better especially i notice on the hyper rare cards again just my opinion and also comparing to previous sets even within the sword and shield era de definitely noticing a bit better quality you're still gonna get sticky cards and yes the cards will still curve so don't think that's not gonna happen we have a very very nice entei holographic super super nice still also called entei in korean my Korean's getting so good now. I, I love reading Hangul. It's so fun. Again, if, you, if you're still confused between the languages of Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Korean tends to have symbols that tend to look like circles and houses. That's one easy way to remember Korean. Um, but yes, and also a fun language to learn as well. We have Tower of Darkness. So there's Tower of Darkness, we have Tower of Waters. Tower of Waters will be in Rapid Strike Master. We have Tower of Darkness in this set. And like I said before, as you guys can see on the screen, it is set S5I or Ilgyuk or Ichigeki. So the R is still kept here um, for Rengeki, of course, that's the original from Japanese, even though in Korean it's called Yungyuk, it starts with a Y. <laughs> oh, we have Stoutland V, really, really cute card, literally the normal dog Pokemon with a big stash, looks so fluffy, I'm, I'm sure he makes a great pillow and a great companion to run around with. But it's a really cute Pokemon, looks very aggressive too, it has an attack that does 200 damage. Very intense, but then again, it's a V card. They're very strong. We have Dublade. Ooh, what's that in the back? Ooh, I see something shiny. Maybe it's a um, V Max card. It could be. Oh, <gasps> yeah, I got Flapful V Max. I don't even have this set, and it's so bold. Oh my gosh, number eight out of seventy. So it's part of the regular set, but it's so nice. Again, more bold compared to the Japanese, and also what I've seen from the English releases. So it's really interesting. That's what I like about Korean cards. How more saturated they look. And some cards, they look really, really awesome. So very happy to get a VMAX I don't have. I'm still also missing Tyranitar, I believe. And um, I think the other Flapple. So hopefully we'll get it too. What I've noticed from Yeongyuk and the other box we opened in this video, got the V and VMAXs of both Pokemon. So that's quite interesting. Doesn't always happen, but it can happen. And sometimes too, you can get two of the same VMAX. It's quite rare, but it can happen, um, especially in Korean boxes. I've definitely seen that in the past. We have Solanda, we have Spupa, chilling in the pupa. We have um, Holographic Houndoom, and also the Single Strike Scroll. Very intense looking. It looks like something's about to like unleash from within. <laughs> All right, already enjoying this box so far. Very happy to get a VMAX I don't have. I think there's only three VMAXs in each set. But um, sometimes they can be really hard to bowl. You never, you never know. Sometimes you keep getting the same one. You have Pig Knight after lunch or after Thanksgiving. But I want that Tyranitar. Because Pig Knight doesn't look really happy after Tyranitar ate the whole feast. He ate so much he fell asleep. Hence why the sleeping Tyranitar. All right. Next pack. And also what's really nice about Korean packs, you do not have to do a card trick. You just open it and just see what you get at the very end. Of course, see every card, appreciate every card. And we have Bronzong doing some mysterious mind-controlling attack. All right, almost done with the first pile already. That was fast. Definitely enjoying these sets. I'm still not tired of them, guys. Really, really loving these new sets, especially they're spoiling us with such beautiful artwork. And we did pull one of them, so very, very happy. And pulling on a Tyranitar, quite hard to pull. Definitely can say I've not seen them yet. After how many boxes I've opened, I've already lost count. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Thankfully, in this box, the cards are not sticking to the top like they did in Young Yuk Master. I do not know why they were doing that. But it's okay. Let's see what else we can get. Electa Buzz, Durant, the Steel Ant, Hone Edge, Rapid Strike. Oh wow, Rapid Strike Energy and oh, sorry, Single Strike Energy and Single Strike Urshifu. It gets so confusing, guys. So Ilgyok Uaroso Bui. So hit the like button. I do love the Urshifu cards, especially this one. This one's very, very nice. Number 36 out of 70. So part of the main set. The uh, Urshifu V Max Hyper Rare alternative art from this set that was very intense. I like how it's kind of like based in the dark and it looks like his eyes are glowing it's just so cool such cool artwork but of course very hard to pull it is a hyper rare that one not just a secret rare it's even harder to pull just like those rainbow rares but of course the alternative artworks are priority over the rainbow rares for me all right last pack of the first pile and then we're on to pile number two so we're still due for another v max in that pile and also more v cards oh we got meow stick very nice i like this hollow particularly because the colors are so bold and also somehow matches the yellow borders pretty well so that's pretty cool it has a lot of cool colors going on there all right second pile let's see what else we can get also don't believe i split the piles that evenly but i try my best 
they are oriented in one big pile as you can see from the box you just kind of take it all out very different from the japanese booster boxes we have primate and we have colossal there's so much colossal lately but i think very fitting in single strike master from a very different angle there Alrighty, let's see what else we can get. Hopefully a Flapple, hopefully, or that or a Tyranitar. I definitely don't have Tyranitar yet, and I think it will look so cool in more saturated colors in the Korean version. Lickitung, Golbat before Phil, and another Phoebe. That's a nice thing about um, Korean cards and also Japanese cards. I mean, this is something I prefer. I kind of like that there's no reverse hollows. It's easier to finish sets that way. And also you get less bulk because there are five cards per pack rather than ten cards per pack. We have Spoink, we have Tepig, Tower of Darkness, and yes! Yes, we got Tyranitar. So cool. Magi, Magirasu, that is the Korean name of Tyranitar. As opposed to Bangirasu, which is the Japanese name of Tyranitar. So hit the like button. We got one of my chase cards from the set for now. Just the regular set. Of course, it's number 46 out of 70. Just really wanted a Tyranitar. Trying to also complete my main sets on top of collecting the secret rares in the alternative artworks. So we have Cacturin, also by Kumia. There's a lot of Kumia spotlight lately, even in Matchless Fighters, which is really cool. We have Hone Edge, Vivillion, Futuristic Butterfly, and we have Boltund. So cute. There's so much electric doggage, <laughs> especially in Shiny Star V. All right, continuing though. We've definitely, after Shiny Star V, there's definitely just been so much more like appreciation for alternative artworks and I'm definitely loving it. It's definitely keeping me very engaged with every set that comes out and I'm sure Jet Black Poltergeist and Silver Lights is not an exception. And also we have Embor, very nice holographic, very intense and I love the hollows with the Ilgyuk and the Yongyuk symbol or Rengeki Ijigeki or Rapid Strike Single Strike, whichever you prefer. That's the nice thing about all the different languages. They present that logo in different ways each time. And they, of course, they put the characters from each respective language, which is very, very cool. I believe the Chinese ones also say Rapid Strike and Single Strike, but they put also the Chinese characters on them. So that's how they differ from the English version, which, is, which literally just says Rapid Strike and Single Strike. But yes, we are almost done with this pile. Still have quite a number of packs left. Have not yet hit the secret rare, but let us see. And we're still due for one more VMAX. Bronze or Aegislash in shield mode. Oh, we got a Phil. We got a little Crobat. Phil. Crobato, also known as uh, Crobat. Also Crobato in Japanese. Phil. Crobat in Phil. Korean. Phil. Phil. Phil to cameraman. Phil. <laughs> Forever Phil. Phil. If you don't know who Phil is, get to know Phil, guys. <laughs> we have Murkrow. We have Spupa. Love this. And I know Cameraman loves this set because it has a Phil. Yep. Lots of Phil appreciation. Phil. We have we have an urn of intensity of, or of toughness, one of those. It's an urn. An angry looking urn. Okay, we have seven packs left, including this one. I somehow counted that. Alrighty, we have something in the back here. I don't know what it is. Roly Coley in a cave. Single strike scroll. Oh, we got Kapu Kokokok. Or Tapu Coco. Very, very bold on the Korean cardstock, let me tell you. And also very nice artwork by Igawa. Igawa also designed the Blaziken VMAX from Matchless Fighter. I was definitely loving his artwork on V and VMAX cards for sure. So yes, let's keep going. I think I still do for one more VMAX. Although I pretty much have all the VMAXs at the point. I got the one I was missing. Give okay, Spiro, Gligar, M uh, Pig Knight. And we have Stone Journer. Terrifying Stone Journer. <laughs> So much red going on in this set, like from all different kinds of Pokemon. And lots of blue in the other one. We have even electric Pokemon playing with water. Very interesting. We have Flygar, Houndour working hard, <laughs> strengthening up. We have Galarian Slowbro and another Aegislash holographic. So only 70 cards in the main set, not including the secret rares. You're going to get some repeats here and there. It is what it is. But that's good if you're building a deck in Korean, you're getting some repeats. All right, we have Houndour also working hard. Chimecho, Galiscor. Oh, it's a VMAX, guys. Primeape. Oh, we got Ilkyok Uarasa VMAX. Very, very nice. With the nice texture and also very intense coloring. Please hit the like button. I love Urshifu so much. Although I prefer the Rapid Strike, but I think both of them are really cool. Very, very intense, especially in their Gigantamax form. Oh my goodness, they're very strong Pokemon. All right, three packs left. Oh, oh boy, are we not gonna get a secret rare in this one? It can happen, but I've definitely noticed more consistency with these two sets. But I could be wrong, and I might prove myself that today because I also got an alternative artwork in the other set, so maybe that's the compensation for it, but we'll see. We'll see, I do not expect much, but we do have our two VMAXs, and of course you guys get to see all the polls at the end of the video, just for a quick summary. Cacnea, Galarian Slowpoke, Tepig, Drampa, and Entei Holographic, another one. Very, very nice. And still matches the hollow borders. I mean, the yellow borders. 
All right, last pack. Are we gonna get it? Are we not gonna get it? Again, guys, not guaranteed, so I'm not gonna expect it. But let's see what happens. All right, we have Honchcrow, we have Gliscor, we have Scatterbug, we have Slazzle, and oh wow, that's the first Ilgyok Yongyok Master to not have a secret rare. All right, be right back with you all. Alrighty, so on to our final review. I'll go through the pulls from Yongyok Master first so you guys can see the pulls from that, and then up next it will be Ilgyok Master. So, of course, I'll include all the hollows so you guys can see everything that we pull from these boxes. Of course, there will be some repeats, but there's a lot, a lot of nice hollows in this set. Luxray. Orbeetle, Tapu Bulu, but yes, very interesting outcome today. Very, very happy overall though, because it did hit a lot of my gold cards. We have Victini V, didn't have that before. We have uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu V, Corviknight V, Cricketune V, Victini V Max. It's so cute, look how bold those eyes are. Second V Max is Corviknight V Max. So we got both the V and V Maxes of both today, which is really cool. And last but not least, we were lucky enough to get a secret rare in Young Joke Master, my favorite of the two. And we got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V alternative artwork. Next, gotta get the V Max Hyper Rare. But I'm very, very happy with this. I love how bold the colors are in this one. And I like the quality of Korean uh, cards in terms of the secret rares. And that's number again, 77 out of 70, just to confirm with you guys. Now on to Il Gyok. So overall from Young Joke, we have seven pulls just so you guys can see the number of pulls a little bit similar to the japanese boxes but you tend to get a little bit less but still honestly a lot better than the sun and moon era pulls so here are the hollows from il Gyuk master we have phil cameron's very happy about that embor we have Aegis Slash, a couple of those, and also a couple of Entes, which I'm not going to complain about. Entes are very nice hollow. Now onto the V cards, we have Stoutland V, we have Single Strike Urshifu V, so very happy to pull both of them. Oh, they're actually sitting next to each other there. Tyranitar V, very happy to pull this because I don't even have this yet. We have Kapu Koko Kok, Tapu Koko V. Onto our V Maxes, we have Flapo V Max, which also didn't have, and also Il Gyok Uarosa V Max, also known as Single Strike Urshifu. So from that box, we had six pulls and no secret rare. So again, like I said, it can happen. And that's actually the first time I've actually not gotten a secret rare from the Single Strike or Rapid Strike Master. Usually I've seen more consistency, but there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon and Beyblade content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.